from Colorado's high definition news leader. This is 9 News at 10. You must have courage to get started in it, to stay in it, to be with it. More than half a century ago, she came up with an idea no one thought would work. How that idea helped make Denver what it is today. At one time or another, most of us have been told, find something you love to do and then find someone who will pay you to do it. Almost 60 years ago, two friends who happened to be women came up with an idea. It was a business venture that many believed wouldn't work. Nine News storytellers Kim Christensen and Brian Willey tell us their passion has helped give Denver its reputation as a world-class city. Elegant, refined, poised, and regal. As for the next adjective, let's go with spunky. I can't imagine all this corruption. You're in for a treat of a lifetime. I have to remember to smile instead of being cranky. Anyone who believes the ballet is an acquired taste hasn't met Lillian Covillo. If you need anything, you raise your hand. <laughs> Usually they just take you to the bathroom. <laughs> You have to get used to Lillian's humor. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> They're all used to it. Remember your own mind. You have to remember I'm me. Lillian is one defiant and delightful ballerina. My teacher, Lucille Brush Foster, picked me out as being the one that she was going to develop as a dancer. I just wanted to, to be able to take ballet lessons. My father wouldn't pay for them. He didn't want me showing my legs on the stage. Her passion for plies and pirouettes led to more than performance. Nearly 50 years ago, Lillian and another ballerina friend started the Colorado Ballet. It's hard to put into words what Lillian has given us as far as a company and individuals, but it's, it's truly amazing. First started, you know, people didn't want to know anything about the ballet, just dance, you know? But we wanted them to know why we were dancing. The company remains dedicated to the premise of bringing the ballet to new audiences. The perseverance that those two showed to keep this company going through all those years, lean, thin, prosperity, prosperous, um, just a mar marvelous thing that they have done. 50 years later, the ballet has a staff of 50 and does five productions every year. Lillian never misses a one. She is the company's best critic. There's nothing I treasure more than a conversation with Lillian because it is honest, it's frank, and when we put on a production, she will let me know, Gil, that's good, or Gil, that is not good. I'm the best, okay? <laughs> Sorry. I can't help these remarks. It's my life. Forever a dancer, Lillian looks for perfection in point shoes. She sees grace and beauty in the ballet, and in every ballerina, the ability to be delicate, determined, and fearless. You must have courage to get started in it, to stay in it, to be with it. Well, you care, and you know why you care, and it eventually works. Bravo, Lillian, bravo. That was gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful. Kim Christensen, Nine News. Lillian lives at Claremont Assisted Living Center. She's 89 years old. She has macular degeneration, which is why she usually sits in the front row of a performance. She says one of the keys to their success was getting women to bring their husbands to the ballet and children because they were the future audience and future dancers.